Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Eruthiel. Here is my first impressions of the closed beta test that I am joining in um, as of the moment. I've been playing for six days and to tell you frankly, I think this game has ton of potential. I'm gonna give you guys a explanation why I think of that. First and foremost, we'll be starting off with the UI. So the UI for this game, my initial impressions is very clean, very, very straightforward, clean as in all the details are on the side. I hate it when they clutter the middle with all of the details of the UI, the main menu. This is very clean. I like the presentation with everything. It's, go it's actually here. So we'll start off with your account information. So we have Eluya here as your assistant. You can change the assistant just by clicking here and do a change here. So you can change to whomever you have already in your roster and change it to whoever who is your liking. So that is actually just the basic parts of your lobby. And you have also a, a quest indicator. So this is more or less your more or less your indicator where you should go to next. You have the free hand, of course, of going to the the, the, the portion where you're you know you you want to go. But this is just the guide where and you should go next. So you have also here your login rewards. The login rewards so far are very good. Uh, no, um, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say very good. Are good at this point. So daily login rewards are good. You have a lot at um, your sixth and seventh day to get. So moving on, we also have here um, other additional rewards here. You can claim, click. Uh, so far, the game has a lot of rewards. Um, I kid you not. They have really uh, put into consideration what the community needs hopefully this carries over after you know the cbt then you also have activity announcement here on the side then you have your chat here above are the currencies that you are using you have your credits here you also have your energy which is um this is your potion this is wh where you use or what you use for the content that will be going over in a while and this one is your standard Dubrio Sal. So this is actually the currency for the store that you may use. So, okay. So that is the UI. Here on the bottom, actually, you have as well your daily missions, a tracker on uh, what you did, what you accomplished. You can actually click a one-time claim. There's actually one visible here once you have a couple of, uh, what do you call this? A couple of uh, uh, rewards to claim. And also here is your achievements. So also um, very organized at this point. Here is going to be your inventory. Then this is our store. And uh, you also have your inbox here. Or in like this one the one touch receive is usually available in most reward section of the game so you click on this so you get a couple of gifts and away we go so this is your uh, in-game mail you have friends here to add as well then of course you have the settings down below so again the menu is very straightforward it's not as confusing when you click on your assistant um you get more affinity points so she's laughing out loud okay anyway um let's go over the content so let's start off with outland for outland you have your basic content here dream back is your farming stages for these characters here then your art task is simply farming as well for these currency. These are mainly used in leveling up your um, your characters. Then your hero journey here is this is also um, uh, farming of materials used for leveling up your weapon. 
it's nice because they, you can level up your weapons here uh, with the default. I'm not sure if uh, there is a different uh, aesthetic to the weapon that they have. Your deep maze is your... This is your tower system. So they have a few. One, two, three, four. That you can go through. So I haven't gone through the deep maze that deep. <laughs> Sorry for the pun. Um, but... Again, I'll try to do this once um, I go further in the next few days. I've been busy so far. So this is your tower system. They have a lot. There's a lot of content, guys, to be honest with you in this game. So this is just for the Outland. We go to this one. This is your mesmerizing labyrinth. So your labyrinth, um, let's just go through this so that I could give you guys a better explanation of what it is so again this is actually my my problem with the game it loads there are certain portions of the game which loads up pretty much slower <clears throat> than usual so this one the labyrinth is kind of like your tower system but you are free to choose whether um you want to go through here you have three areas here where you can choose then once you choose an area, then you can battle that area. So this is a nice content. For me, this is something that um, is is interesting because you cannot see what is beyond this. You just have to battle what is in front of you before you see the end floor for this stage. So again, this is very, very good. Let's just leave this for now and let's proceed to the other contents of the game. So the vessel here is... Um, if I may compare this, this is similar to to the Colossus in Alchemy Stars. It's but this is your base. This is the structure of the base. It's it's just too, it's just kind of similar to me. World Tour is basically your dispatch system. So you dispatch um, your characters here to you know to farm for materials. Your prop room here is. Uh, basically um let's just see what it is so this is a crafting portion for props so craft workshop is here you have your sailing theater which is interesting because i think they get to perform here this is kind of awesome so something unique in this uh what they call this in this game which i really like this is actually um, nice to have as a you know, you know side content for you to do if you don't have anything else to do rehearsal room is locked at this point then you have the photo room your photo room is is just showcasing the figures or oh, sorry the, the characters that you have talking about figures so characters that you have taking you know um, screenshots or uh, wallpaper of them so that's the photo studio and uh, as you can see again it loads kind of slower sometimes um not sure yet if um that is uh, what they call this within the game or within my device but i think it's within the game and the director's office and the control room control room is a crystal workshop and the last one is the director's office which will be um this is just the master room i think for all for for what you have here so you can you can check the, the the progress here and it's at level one at this point okay so let's move out of the vessel so the vessel is kind of your base uh, i think slash ship not sure but uh, if you go to the summoning part again the interface i like the interface very simple you won't really have a a problem, you know, uh, going through the content. So these are your um, your summons here. So hero wish, and you also have these are these are part of your equipment system. So these are your characters here. Summon for characters, and at this portion, these are for your equipment system. They, they they're named after characters as well but they play their, their function is like an equipment so let's do a wish here 
So these are daily wishes that you get. So if you can, you can skip this. But once you click, the animation looks nice. Um, also interesting, the cube, not cube. It's kind of a artifact. So we have purple. So again, as you can see here, this is kind of your four star, four star equipment, Shelton interlude. We'll go to equipment in a while after this one. So we've had our one pull there. Then let's go here. Let's get one pulls here. So another wish. This one is going to be your characters. So again, just select one rune and uh, it will open uh, one pull for you. So again, generating content. Okay, so Screamer. Interesting name, actually, Screamer. So let's skip her. So that is the portion wherein um, the summons are here. Um, there's a small pool at this time for your roster. So let's go to your roster here. So, so far, um, let's do an Awaken here. So Awaken is uh, adding stars to your characters. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to the ones that I'm using. Uh, let's uh, awaken Screamer here before she screams at me. <laughs> okay, so okay, so I have this roster. So the roster is um, going to reflect the characters that you have and the characters that you don't have. So at this point. Um, the locked ones are the, car the characters that I don't have. And um, the ones that I'm using is Isa. Isa is going to be your... She's kind of your uh, mage or damage dealer. Uh, Gildan is going to be your shield or defender. Roko is your healer. Queen is going to be your assassin. And Searslet is going to be... Um, your um, she's going to be a warrior or a vanguard type uh, attack type in the front, uh, together with Gildan. And I have I'm using actually another um, eater here, which is Celia. But these five here up here are the ones that I'm using so far. So you have your guardian class. So again, these are Gildan. So your hoplite class is your warrior class here. Assassin again class is here. Queen Ranger class. This is an interesting class as well. I've been using Mireya before, but I, I I I went back to the caster instead, which is Isa. So and adult adult tricks is are your healers. So again, these are your character classes and your elements. So as you can see, each character has their element here: red, yellow. Purple. Purple is dark. White is light. Uh, red is fire. And blue is ice or water. So you have elements as well. Um, you can sort them out. And that's it for your roster. Let's go through one of the one of the characters that I like, which is Queen. I love how she is made, really. So you can actually upgrade your upgrade your uh what do you call this you can upgrade each of your characters here so i'm at level 30 for you to go over level 30 you'll have to modify your weapon here let's do a modification here so one modify then also modify this one then at this point you can already you can already Appearance, actually, I think there's another option for a different skin for your weapons. I'm not sure if um, they have it, but it appears that if you have an appearance button, definitely you can change it. So you can refine this. Let's do refine. Then once you refine, you can increase your character level every time you refine your weapons. You modify your weapon. Now I can bring her to level 50 so she has a cap of 50 then awaken is shards that you get for the character each of each of the characters once you get um what do you call this what once you get duplicates you'll be getting shards wherein you can awaken them up to six star 
So every character in the game you can can bring up to six star. Then for your weapon again, just wanna go back there. Affinity is here, gifts and other things in terms of your character. Character skills you can upgrade as well um, per level. So again, there are a lot of things to upgrade. Skills, weapon, um, star levels, level characters. Then also this is what I meant a while ago when I when I was talking to you about kind of your equipment. So these are your equipment. They're named after other characters as well. So as you can see, play equip, they're called play equip. So currently you have sets, you have several sets that you can incorporate. Once you act, once you have um, equipment of the same set, then you activate these additional stats. So it's better that you equip um, your characters with the same uh, set equipment so that you can unlock content. So right now I have equipment here for three star. I even have four star, but some of the sets are, are incomplete. I even have five star. So I'm currently using three at this point, and this is what you farm eventually in the game. So that is it for your characters. Again, um, your char the characters that, that, that they have in the game are, not, I, I wouldn't say they're unique at this point. They are one, one, above average in terms of the design. I've seen, I've seen, or the designs are actually, um uh not common i would say the designs are usually relatable to other games that i've seen so it's close to other games but it's 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 a mix match of their own plus designs from the other games that i've seen but again um character design is pretty impressive i am not to complain about character design at this point because um, I think it's good. Action here is pretty much crisp. So, so as you can see, as you unlock other achievements, then the game prompts you to claim other things. So claim all. Again, I've told you that, guys. And let's go to probably a gameplay. So... Let's go to adventure. I'm actually here in level 315. I haven't cleared this yet. Let's see if I can clear this out on manual. So I'm going to take you guys to a simple uh, gameplay of uh, the game. So far, the gameplay is what is um, attracting me to the game. And let's do a formation. So this is your initial formation. Um, if you want to change a character or their positions, you can actually choose where they can be placed. So this is um, your defender. This is your hoplite here. Then this is your mage. Let's uh, swap her out for an assassin. So there you go. Click confirm. Then if you're okay with the formation, you can actually change the formation if you feel that your previous formation is not bad. Then you can, as you can see here, there are additional things that you can reference when you deploy uh, your class and also your element. Uh, please make sure that you check your elements, uh, counter effects and resist counter effects here. So let's do this one just to give you guys an idea on how this game is uh, played. So these are your skills here. So these are in the form of cards that you can... Let's uh, zoom out for a while because I need to see... Not that one. I need to see the battle. Um, you can actually... Um, better if you zoom out so that you can see the HP bar for, you know, each of um, the heroes that you have. And also be able to be competitive as well. So, again, um, it's better to zoom out. <laughs> Otherwise, if you don't see the HP of your 
of your what do you call this of your characters you won't be able to heal them or you just be shocked that they're no longer in the screen in front of you so i forgot to mention as well that you have okay just gonna go through uh another stage here uh, once you you do a lot of skills, your ultimate will be powered up. Let's do another. <laughs> Let's do another uh, battle for that one. I forgot to I forgot to click on the ultimate. I'm in chapter four already. Let's uh, just go through one again of the stages here. And I'll also demo you guys a... That was actually on manual, the first one. The second one would be on auto. Um, when you play on auto, you can basically also... So let's uh, do with this one. So right now, I'm starting it on manual. As you do your skills here. As you do your skills here, you'll be basically... Be charging up your ultimates here. So let's charge up the, those ultimates. Every time a character uses an ultimate, then everything is charged up. So I'm at level 22. Okay, so this is a train stage, which is in waves. I think we can do an ultimate here already. So let's do a fight here. Let's do auto. Auto is nice to have as well, um, especially if you are doing something, doing work, doing chores, doing you know, doing homework, whatever. Um, but again, you still have to some of the the skills you might not be able to time. But I, I can't go through the ultimate guys. The enemy gets you know gets uh, taken out quickly. But your ultimate is nice really to have but the problem is every wave it resets so as you finish off stages i'll put this on auto as well as you finish up stages hopefully we could demo the auto in a while so let's uh do this one on auto while we have your ultimates here recharge so so far I don't I'm not sure if we can reach the ultimate again. I think we can. So hopefully there you go. One ultimate came around <laughs> before before the enemy died. So that is your ultimate as long as you use your skills then you could power up your ultimate and give it a go. So that is it for our gameplay um i'm just gonna give you guys uh, a tip here for every stage that you have an auto battle is present here but it's not solely for the stage you're in so you, if you want to farm a specific currency let's say for example i want to farm here a specific currency to level up my characters here so this this one is for leveling up your character so you just Put, for example, 10, then you click check, then you could go battle start. So if you want to sort through targeted item, you can also sort them here. And this will filter out as well. So this is their auto battle system. It's not really per stage. You actually have a lot of uh, things to choose here. A lot of currencies to choose from. Again, this might, this might look confusing at first, but eventually... You'll get a hang of this. So every stage that you go through, even if it's not in the adventure stage, you will have the auto battle to check out and click on if you are going to be farming for a specific resource. So that is it, guys. So again, hopefully you are, you know, you're good with, uh, you know, playing this game. Um, this game has tons of potential. I like the battle system. Um, especially the gameplay. Um, I like it because it's in real time and it uh, gives you a chance to control your skills, your ultimates, and uh, that's it. While your basic attacks basically will be on auto, 
um, and they are free to attack whoever they want to attack, especially if you place them in a grid that uh, makes them do that. They will do basic attacks, but your special and ultimate attacks you can do on your own. So that is it, guys. Those are my first impressions. Again, the game, I'm looking forward to having it out in global soon As after the CBT. I'm happy to have this game and to have reviewed it. Um, probably by the uh, before the end of CVT, I'll be putting out a tier list for for all the characters here that so far have have I've seen and tested out, and hopefully that can help you guys as well. So, thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.